house, take a trip to my house. Hey guys, what is happening? I'm the Gaming Sensations and today we actually have another tutorial. I know I have been doing a fair bit of tutorials on um, Minecraft when Minecraft 1.6.2 and 1.6 uh, plus came out. I know I've been doing a fair bit of tutorials this is so I can help you guys out with installing mods, resource packs, texture packs, and which are resource packs and texture packs are the exact same thing. But yeah, so this is so I can help you guys out with all them good stuff uh, for Minecraft. It does change the game a fair bit and make it a little bit more fun uh, sometimes, unless and sometimes when it really pisses you off and um, gets to your nerves. But either way, guys, let's just get started with this tutorial. And as you guys can see in my background, it's how to install Optifine for Minecraft 1.6.2. As you know, uh, as you guys might know, the new tutorial actually just came out and. And what happened is they updated everything and they actually skipped Minecraft 1.6.1 for Opt uh, Optifine actually skipped 1.6.1 which is a shame because we had to deal with our Optifine and a whole bunch of stuff and if you guys don't know actually if you guys actually don't know what my, um, what Optifine is actually um, Optifine is actually um, a way to help you guys get better FPS during Minecraft so what it does actually is when you play Minecraft, you have more settings, so you can turn off clouds, turn off rains, uh, turn off rain actually, and turn off snow, um, snow caps, and a whole bunch of stuff. And um, it helps you with your rendering uh, render distance, so it really helps you guys out in that. So that's pretty much what Optifine does, and it actually helps a, uh, a fair bit of YouTubers such as me. Since I haven't got the best of graphics cards, sorry guys about that popping up. Um, my computer has a habit, I don't know why, it's something to do with the graphics card or the process, I'm not too sure. But it really doesn't matter what's wrong with it, as long as this video comes out, helps you guys out, that's what really matters. And so, what it does is helps you guys get better FPS, and when you guys record, I know um, lots of people's FPS drops, um, lots of people tell me this, and it's a real big shame, you guys might need a better graphics card, that's what it mainly means, or maybe a better processor, that's the key stuff for having good FPS during Minecraft Let's Plays and stuff. But other than that, um, let's just move on to how to install the mod. Um, it's a pretty good mod, of course, as I said before. But let's just get started. As you can see down here, um, Optifine is down there. So um, you guys are going to need WinRAR, of course, the new Minecraft now 1.6 Plus. And you guys are going to have to know how to... Actually, you guys don't actually have to know how to install mods. This is what this video is for. Um, also guys, I'm going to have the link to my media fire to download Optifine, and guys, I did not make this mod, I'm just saying this, I know most people know that I didn't make it, but it's just saying that I didn't make this mod. So the first thing you're going to want to do, since you have WinRAR or you guys might have Power ISO or 7-Zip or something, simply right click and you're going to simply do um, extract files, that's what I mainly do so I can have the files. When this pops up, um, just simply press OK. And I'm just going to drag the folder down here, so as you can see it's down there, the exact same as 1.5.2 and a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, that's how all the files, the files are a little bit different, different coding and a whole bunch of stuff, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, so what you're going to actually want to do is first go to your Minecraft launcher, which I've already launched before the video even started. And as you can see here, 1.6.2 actually came out. And the first thing you're going to actually want to do is go new profile and name the profile anything you guys possibly want but right now I'm just going to name it Optifine O-P-T-I-F-I-N-E and tick the box where it says game directory so when you simply tick that you're going to do save profile and that's pretty much what you're going to do so where it says profile editor it's going to say Optifine down there as you can see it says not logged in so where it says profiles at the top right hand side of the launcher you're going to simply click on the arrow or the actual name click on Optifine and simply log in where it says um, username and password at the bottom right and it says let's um, play and register and a whole bunch of other stuff so I'm going to simply log in right now gaming sensations and my password which you guys aren't going to actually know so let's move on click play hopefully that's everything correct Everything is correct, so as you can as you can see, it's logging me in. You can close it and a whole bunch of other stuff. And as the top left of the uh, of the actual game, it says Minecraft 1.6.2. So that's how you know you have Minecraft 1.6.2. So I, let's just exit out of this and exit out of this. And what we're gonna actually want to do right now is go to your start button. My one's at the top left hand corner. You guys, you guys, um, 
you might have your mic uh, start button sorry sorry guys I was just stuttering a little bit there I have no idea why simply click on your start button um, your guys uh, your start button might actually be at the bottom left right um, bottom right bottom left it really doesn't matter but the default is bottom left so simply click it really doesn't matter where it is and type in percent app data percent so percent a double p p or a double p d a t a percent and where it says roaming you can simply press enter or click on roaming so what i'm going to do is click on roaming now over here where it says dot minecraft it should be at the top where for most people it really is and same as me simply click on dot minecraft and with minecraft 1.6 plus uh when i say plus it means 1.6 and above um what they done they inserted new folders um and where it has a new folder is versions and uh, assets and a whole bunch of other stuff but what uh, the only new folder we're going to be going to is versions so double click on versions and i already have optifine this so i'm just going to simply delete it start from scratch and then what we're going to want to do is go to 1.6.2 you can right click on that copy it there might be different ways but this is the way i do it and simply uh, right click and click paste or you guys might be um, do Control V or Control C to copy it. Or you simply do right click, rename it to what did I name it? I named it uh, Old Snap. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I named it Optifine. That's what I'm pretty sure we named Optifine at the beginning. I've completely forgotten. And simply click into it and rename all the uh, rename all the files to Op to find exactly what your profile was named so you like you guys don't have to name it up to fine but I just uh, you guys have to name it the same as your profile name which my profile name was up right click on the dot JSON file rename and type in your profile name which my one was up so now when you finished renaming them that's pretty much the easiest thing which was the first step and then the next step is to first you would want to um, go to the .json file which is the one that you open with notepad or you're supposed to open it with notepad but um, I set it as my default so that's what pretty much um, it's stuck on so let's just move that over I don't know why I made it larger so what we're going to want to do is double click on that and where it says ID at the top here um, um, that's what pretty much what you're going to want to change so over here where it says 1.6.2 you want to rename that to what your profile's name so up to fine let's hope that's correct what i named my profile simply exit out of this and click save of course up to fine i spelled that correct and let's move on to the winra archive uh winra archive file which uh, i said that is my default as well or you guys can set that as your 7 zip or your power iso whatever you guys have on your computer and you guys are used to simply double click on that um, I'm just gonna close this and move this to the right hand side we can simply minim uh, we can actually exit this right now and go to uh, where it says made inf over here um, you can simply delete this click yes of course because that's pretty much what stops you from having pretty much mods and a whole bunch of other stuff in Minecraft so when you delete that and a whole bunch of other stuff you want to double click on the folder that you extracted copy everything inside it from assets all the way down to wr update thread dot class and drag and drop that press ok and then everything should send and let's simply exit this down here and exit this they should have automatically saved and everything and the next thing you're going to want to do is open up your new minecraft launcher as you guys can see i have two at the top that's the old minecraft launcher and the new minecraft launcher so yep I did name my profile Optifine and now we can just wait for this to load up I don't know why but my Minecraft launcher lags a touch so you have to wait a couple seconds like say 10 seconds for it to start working or maybe even 20 seconds imagine how my computer is feeling so as you can see it just started um, the Minecraft launcher and then the next step you can actually want to do is go to a new profile um, as we done before uh, or earlier name this whatever you guys possibly want I'm just gonna name it mods click game directory um, tick the box and where it says use versions um, what we just done there is made our own version which was Optifine well that's what I named the profile see over here where it says release Optifine and your one might say release mods as I named this one over here it really doesn't matter what it's name as long as you remember what you named it 
and simply click on that and click save profile and next we move on to mods over here where it says profile you know, simply want to log in gaming sensations and password and my password isn't password that's that isn't actually the password so I'm gonna simply log in now and I'll see you guys in Minecraft since I'm gonna have to change my um, recording software to frap so I can record in game so I'll see you guys then peace okay guys welcome back um, we're in our Minecraft at the moment so simply I am using the um, texture pack faithful 32 times 32 or 32 x 32 whatever you guys want to call it and as you can see at the top it says Minecraft 1.6.2 so we are logged into Minecraft 1.6.2 except our own um, version which is the Optifine version so over here what you want to do is um, so you know that you got Optifine is simply click options go video settings and there we go as you can see it's um, kind of different where it says smooth lightning brightness and render distance that's the biggest thing over here for render distance we can make it tiny um, tiny 16 short short 16 short 48 pretty much everything normal and I usually keep mine on normal 64 which is um, in my opinion the best so as you can see we have a whole bunch of pretty much um, settings now that can help us out where you can take off the details except for clouds, trees, or leave them as default and grass as fast we can have no clouds if we choose to we can go to quality we can change all this stuff like minimap um, clear water um, better grass, custom fonts, you know, swamp colors, pretty much everything here. So we can change this over here. I am on peaceful at the moment because there was someone else playing on my Minecraft. So over here, we're gonna simply go into our survival world. Let's wait for this. Okay, as you guys can see, I am on my survival world. Just let me move my microphone a touch back. And there's our world. We have been doing a fair bit of stuff on this, making a little barrier. We're not finished this side. We're gonna, we just finished that barrier over there, and the barrier down there isn't even finished. So, um, I'll make a separate video on that. But I have a wheat farm over here. I haven't harvested anything, and I just remembered I'm on peaceful. But yeah, so this is pretty much what I've been doing on this world. And let's simply go to options, video settings, and go to tiny. And as you can see. We're playing on tiny at the moment, so less lag and a whole bunch of other stuff. And what we can do right now is there's no more um, um, world loading now since we're really, really close. And as we run further, the more of the world has to load. So what we can do now is simply go to options, video settings. If we turn up, we can turn it up to tiny 16, and it actually does it to tiny six, plus 16. So plus 16 chunks it loads, plus 16 blocks further it actually loads. So that's pretty much this video here on how to install Optifine 1.6.2. This is the easiest way to install it in my opinion. That's why I'm making this video today um, for you guys. But hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe if you guys are new to my channel. I have I will be doing even more tutorials later on and lots more let's play gameplay and i know i haven't been doing much let's plays on my upload one um in the middle this is my enchanting room and stuff but yeah um i hope you guys enjoyed this please rate comment and subscribe if you guys are new i've said that the second time now but yeah so that's pretty much it for today if you guys want any more um tutorials on how to install mods resource packs anything just let me know and i will show you guys i'll make a quick video on it so i hope you guys have enjoyed this please rate comment subscribe that's the third time i've actually said that but yeah so that's pretty much it if there's any problems let me know down in the comment section below and i can help you guys out but until next time guys peace